Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is obviously so exciting because it is iPhone day. Happy iPhone day to those who celebrate. I always say I'm not gonna get the new one and then I end up like getting the new one, so yeah. Anyway, I'm super excited. I love iPhones, it's just one of those things, kind of like luxury bags or purchases. I just like to get the new phone every year. If I can do it, I do it because it just makes me happy. Is there a reason for me to upgrade from the iPhone 15 Pro to the iPhone 16 Pro? No, um, it's just something I like. So there's no excuse for it. It's overly priced or many differences, but it is what it is and I'm excited. So let's go ahead and unbox this beauty. I just got off work. I got off a little early, so I'm really happy, but I feel like I'm always like in these scrubs. I swear, I swear I change every day at work. So it's not like I wear the same thing every day, but it looks like it in the videos. Anyway, let's just get on to the unboxing. So they have this little strip. Oh, also too, I got this in black titanium because I love my black iPhone. I think the three little dots cameras are so distracting and not cute. So I went with the black and the black got darker this year and I'm just excited about it. I think all of the colors are honestly beautiful. I like all of them. I just, I like the black. And so I continued and stayed with the black. Oh, whoops, I forgot to, that was a fail. I forgot to do the bottom. Oh, shoot, man. Okay. This is, it came off so nicely in the beginning and then I just, oh uh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. It literally looks like the 15, I'm not even joking. This is actually quite funny. Okay, so starting off what comes in the box, the charger, which I already have, so I'll just probably Put this in a drawer somewhere and i'm loving the new shape of the little booklet that no one reads i really dig the the pill shape i think that's pretty cool but you don't get apple stickers man apple just keeps on getting more cheap and cheap that's no charging block no headphones not even apple stickers <laughs> like what the heck Wow, okay, that's a very underwhelming unboxing. Like this video is gonna be like two minutes long. So let's do the infamous peel, one of the most satisfying parts. So satisfying. Ooh, I really like the shape of this. It is so similar to the iPhone 15 Pro. They almost look just alike. That is kind of scary. Okay, so I put the screen protector on and yes, I know that there's bubbles, but it always does this. It takes like a good 24 hours for the screen protector to like settle in. So they actually had this like new mechanism where you just, you set your iPhone in this tray and you pull the little um, tab and then it just peels it off. And it came with this like little fuzzy thing that like takes all the dust away. At least it's supposed to do that. So I don't know. I just trusted the process and given my experience, I know that this will go away eventually. And it looks like pretty straight and looks good. So obviously I want to show you guys the button and that's what it looks like. Nothing too fancy. The phone is a lot lighter than I expected, which is great because I like lighter iPhones. I don't know. Does that sound weird? I like the finish and it almost seems like the edges are more boxy. Like it's a more boxy feel than these rounded edges. Honestly, I like this one a lot better, surprisingly. I thought even though they look exactly the same almost, I like the way this one feels. The edges on here are a little too rounded for my liking. I like the more boxy shape. I know it's hard to see on camera because they look identical, but it's funny because if you put them together, the button looks like where the SIM card or whatever this is, I think that's the antenna. I don't really know what it is, but they look almost identical. It's just this is an action button and this is whatever this thing is. That's actually kind of silly, but that's that side. 
This is where the action button is. Again, they look the exact same. The top of the phone looks extremely similar as well. And then the bottom of the phones look almost identical. If I were you, I wouldn't really upgrade, but I really like this phone already. This phone has been a great phone, but the battery isn't the greatest, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's been a great phone, but I can already tell I like this phone a lot. And you can barely tell a difference in the size. I thought I was gonna notice a very significant difference in the size, because it is 6.3 inches, but Honestly, it feels the exact same. The size difference is very minimal. So if you're concerned about that, don't worry. But yeah, I, I really like it. I'm impressed. I just gotta work on these little bubbles here. Okay, so I put this case on it. I wanted to try the Apple clear case this time because I always go with the Apple silicone cases. And first impression, it's very slippery in the hand, unlike the silicone, obviously but I wanted to try it. I hate already the little dust particles that you can like see, but I'm trying to not look at them. I don't know. I just really like the clear vibe. I just see a lot of people just have the clear phone cases. So I'm like, I want to try that. Why not? So I got the Apple one because I wanted the button covered and I just like the way this one looks, even though there's part of me that hates this like design, this like ring, but I know it has to be there. And I do use the MagSafe products. Like I use my Apple wallet more than I would like to admit, like when I'm running an errand or something, like I'd love to just throw it on the back of my phone. So anyway, I have that. I squeeze some more of the air bubbles out. Um, I'm gonna turn her on and then we can get to transferring like everything from this phone to this phone. Yay. I love when it says hello and it shows you all of the different languages of hello. All right, so obviously we want English and then United States. Honestly, the Quick Connect is so great. They make this easier every year. Maybe the eSIM will actually work this time. A lot of the time I have to call Cricket and tell them. So this year I know I don't have to front. Oh my gosh, continue. Oh, it needs more information. Maybe I will have to call Cricket, but every year, ever since eSIM came out, I've had to like call them and I end up like almost crying. <laughs> I know not to like freak out because I've had to do this so many times, so. Hey, it's Cricket. We're notifying you that a request to move this phone number to a new device or new SIM was just received and it is about to occur. If you do not wish to initiate this, please Call us now. Oh my gosh, Cricket actually sent me a little message and they're like finishing up cellular, getting my phone number on this one. Okay, Cricket is becoming more advanced. It's only taken two years. Yay. I'm just gonna patiently wait now for this. Okay, so as you guys could see, uh, the phone works. The eSIM transferred. Yeah, I guess it just took Cricket. I had very little hope that that was gonna work. But anyway, I'm gonna set up the face ID now. We're on the face ID part. All right, so I didn't have to like, I didn't have to worry too much and like almost have a meltdown because of the stupid eSIM. Look how cute the little animation is. Now they are transferring, so luckily it won't take that much longer. The reason for this is because I keep all of my like photos and videos on an external hard drive and I don't have them on the phone. So that's like one of my tips if you want a faster transfer. Um, but anyway, I'm so far at loving the new phone. I just gotta work on these like little air bubbles. They're kind of annoying, but it's okay. And I have to get used to this case. So I did end up getting a Apple silicone case in case I hated this one. So I'm giving this one a chance because I don't know, I just wanted something different. And since the phones look almost identical, I'm like, I want something different and fun and something that I've never had before. And I haven't ever had a Apple clear case. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how long it lasts. If you wanna see what the black Apple silicone case looks like, it literally looks like when I had the black one on this phone. And I'm giving my iPhone cases to my friend Kyra because she, she got the new iPhone or the 15 Pro uh, like six months after I did. So those cases are going to her. I do wanna do the satisfying take off the screen protector of my old phone. Um, 
So I'll do that after the data is done transferring. Okay, so I know this vlog is kind of, or unboxing is kind of everywhere. It's probably the worst iPhone unboxing that I've done, but it's fine. I'm still excited about my new phone. Everything is pretty much downloading. My calendar lives up here and that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm just waiting for it to download. I forgot to test out the main difference of the freaking phone, which is the camera control button or whatever it's called. Oh my gosh. So I pressed it and then this thing came up and it's like asking what photo styles you want. So I'm just going to say set up later, but anyway, you can like, I don't know if it's going to like do it. Oh, it is zooming. Wait. Oh. So if you like long press it, you can record a video. But how are people like doing that like zoom in thing? If you long record, then you record a video. If you like hold it, which is really good for if you're vlogging and stuff, but I don't understand how people are like zooming in and out. So I guess if you use this case, you can't really like, oh wait, wait, no, I'm doing it. Wow, oh my gosh. So like, you can see I'm just using, I'm gliding my finger right over this thing and it's like zooming in and out. Oh my gosh. And the case is like designed for that. Okay, okay. That's actually like super cool. It's like a rocker button type thing. You can like see me doing it here, kind of. Anyway, I don't know, I like it. I like the feature of the camera. I'm always like trying to get vlog clips when I'm on my phone, like vlogging. And then I can just long press it to start recording. It's just faster. So I might set my action button to something different because I have the action button going to the camera. We'll see what I do with this, but I don't know. I needed to mention that in this video because like that's the main difference of the, the phone. So I don't know, I just thought that was so silly. <laughs> but before I end this video, I wanted to do the satisfying peeling off the screen protector. I'm going tomorrow to return this phone to Apple to get my money back. Well, hopefully $520 back. So that makes like this phone about $300 because I got gift cards for my birthday from my friends. So I always take off the screen protector and you know, so they can like see the iPhone. And then they always make a comment about how good the condition is so good. And I'm like, yeah, well, I like to take good care of it. Um, because I do like doing the buyback program. So anyway, let's just go ahead and peel her off. Wow. This phone is so pretty, but anyway, here's my little tempered glass protector thing. I swear, even though people say that the glass on the new iPhones are like great and stuff. There's still scratches on like this plastic thing. So I'm glad that I have one of these because I don't know, just stuff like scratches the screen, like little hairline fractures. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I always love doing these, even if it's underwhelming and the phone looks the same. It's just super fun. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.